I've been working on the Basque Osprey project for the past four years. Um, we're working with local landowners, estates, natural England, private uh, kind of hidden away nature reserves and uh, we're helping to look after the ospreys, getting them back into England, building up their numbers. Uh, they're a bird that has been extinct for over 150 years in England, so what we're trying to do is to help them recover. So we've been working with Basque at Rowdsey for the last four years um, on the osprey project here. And so Basque basically help us with managing the nesting platform. They also help us when it comes time to ring the birds um, in summer. So I think it's really important as an organisation that has conservation its title to show its credentials and they're certainly doing that here and I think that's why, you know, for me that's quite a valuable partnership. So we've been running wildlife crime training days for the police officers across the whole of the north of England. It's vitally important for the membership that they know that they can trust their local police force to have the knowledge and the empathy in that what they're doing. Um, it's really important that police officers understand all the issues surrounding shooting sports so that the members get the best possible response. For most police officers approaching somebody who's holding uh, a gun in their hands, it's uh, probably quite a testing, a testing experience for them. One of the best things about speaking to, to Basque here today is understanding quite a bit about their members, the kind of people that we'd expect to be meeting and speaking with, and understanding a little bit about the value of the items that they might be carrying. If we go up to somebody who's carrying several thousand pounds with a gun in their hands, and our first reaction is to tell them to throw it on the floor, we're probably going to find ourselves in a, uh, a position of conflict quite quickly. Approaching them in the correct manner, speaking with them in, in a respectful way will almost certainly get that same reaction back. Hi, I'm Tony Singh. I'm a chef up in Edinburgh. I've always been based in Scotland. I've cooked for Royal A Presidents, had my own restaurants, I've got a supper club and I've always loved cooking game. I've always loved cooking with game because it's truly seasonal it's low carbon footprint because the food miles are negligible it's really good for you it's seasonal it's super tasty and that's the thing and it helps the environment it helps the countryside it's great i think bass play an amazing role in letting people understand what shooting and game conservatives is about it is great for your mental health it is great for the rural economy but it's great for the ecology of the wildlife in Britain. And we need an organisation like that to tell people to dispel the myths. I'm Georgina Roberts and I shoot Olympic trap for Wales and Great Britain. So as I started my shooting journey, I attended one of Bath's Young Shots days and it really helped boost my confidence. So before I went, I was really uncomfortable about shooting with other people and I was really awkward and embarrassed. So being able to be in that environment with other people who've got the same interest as me just really boosted my confidence and made me feel much more comfortable in the shooting environment. I really appreciate the support I've had from Basque so far in my journey and I'm really, really grateful to be able to continue to work with them in the future. It's vital that we keep bringing new people into the sport to really secure its future and Basque is a really core cool component in doing that.